Katie needs another rush dress. But bam. Can I say something? Like, yes, Brennan, jump we in. We can do that later though. Bam, 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 bam. I feel like it's so cute and so It has so coffee sleeves. Oh. Come on, I make my own, I carve my own path. Okay. okay. Right, you guys good morning it is 6 45 we are making it to school on time today pretty proud of that mm -hmm. day two it only took one day to get us into the groove mm -hmm. but now we're in the groove yep. all right it's a little darker out here than it was yesterday morning when i woke up and the sun was fully <laughs> somehow my phone is connected to my car and music just started playing christmas music at i don't know a hundred a million decibels Anyway, it's August 11th. August 11th. So, about, oh, August 11th. It's my friend Tessa's birthday. Oh my gosh, oh. I'm gonna have to say happy birthday to Tess. August 11th. So, anyway, um, back to where we were. It is 6:45 in the morning, and we are on our way to school, and we are gonna make it on time today, which is a stark contrast from yesterday, when, you know, I know why you didn't wake up now, yesterday. Why did? Well, when I came into your room today at 6.10 and your alarm was going off, again, at a million decibels, this is, this is your alarm. <laughs> you were not, like, you and Brennan were just out. I don't understand it. I, I just, I just don't get it. Hello? Oh my gosh, Ryan, like, so loud. <laughs> I don't understand how you can sleep through that. <laughs> Anywho, you did. And um, so we're going to have to... Maybe we'll have to get some type of alarm that like shoots water onto you, like a bucket <laughs> that just like goes down it's like and one of those splashes. Water park buckets that exactly. Fills up and then That's what I'm thinking because I don't know else otherwise. That, or one of those bouncy ones, you know, those, those bouncy alarms. <laughs> what that ring and like bounce like on your bed? Yeah, well, they really have them though. Wait, what? They really have like alarm clocks that when they go off, they bounce up and down and then they like jump on your bed. That no, no they don't. Yes, they do. There's no way. Yes, they do. Like, in I don't cartoons, know about the jump on your they, bed part, but yeah, they do have bouncy ones. Cartoons are like virus and shakes, yes. and then it falls off the bed and hits him in the head. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so are you looking forward to day two of school? More than day one. Okay. I'll tell you that. Okay, good. Are you, do, are you nervous or are you better? Like, no more nerves? No, better. No more nerves. All right, Rye Guy, we are here. Have a great day. Love you. Can't Thanks wait to see you after school. Let me know if you need me to pick you up, okay? All right, I will. All right, baby doll. No, you got to get out. Or, yeah. I'm, you might well, just have to jump out. Okay, that's fine. While Bye. I'm moving. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye, baby. These are our new mornings now. Up early. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Up early, taking Ryan to school. Coming back. This is my goal, you guys. So I love how... Um, seasons of the year change and when seasons change then it gives you sort of a renewal in your uh, in your routine and you sort of change things and you it's like a, a refreshing start and I always feel like the school year I when I was a kid I never liked when school started because it was the end of summer and it was like oh it's fall and I don't like fall blah 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 um, but now I kind of feel like being a parent that the beginning of school year is a really good opportunity to, again, refresh your schedule, to change, to start anew, to do those things that over the summer you sort of put off. So Ryan now is at school. And of course I miss like, I miss summer, summer being over because of the fact that I love summer and I love spending time with the kids like all the time. But that's okay because Ryan's, you know, I'll get a chance to spend a lot of time with him, but Katie and Brennan, they're leaving. So that makes me sad. But I'm looking at the bright side of things and starting my new schedule. My new schedule is that I wake up now at, let's say, 6.15, just to make sure that Ryan's awake. At 6.45, we leave. We'll drive to school. I will already have my walking and my exercise um, outfit on, so when I come back, it's the first thing I do. On my walk, I listen to a podcast, and um, it's a different podcast. Well, I wouldn't say it's a different podcast every day, but there, I have a series of podcasts that I listen to. And some of those came from a suggestion from an Instagram post that I did not too long ago. So I've been listening to those. So if you guys listen to a podcast, comment down below what podcast you listen to. I was thinking about maybe starting a podcast. I think it'd be kind of fun to start a podcast. Would you listen? 
I am very um, excited about the new schedule and uh, my new mornings and hoping that you guys, if you are on that school schedule, whether you're a parent or a child or a, uh, a teacher maybe that you get on a new schedule after the summer, hopefully that is refreshing for you and you're looking forward to and you're optimistic about the new season that we are going into. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to discuss one thing with everybody. Do not clap when your plane lands. Let me tell you why. It's or cringy. Do. What? Or do. do. I think you should clap when your plane lands. No, it's like cringe. Why do you think it's cringy? Because I just, I shake the pilot's hand and say thank you. You do not. Do you yes, actually shake the hand? Yeah. Okay, Katie, so this you is the thing. You shake their hand. Uh-huh. I've never seen you shake a pilot's hand once. When's the last time you were on a plane with me? I've flown with you over our probably 50 times. When was the last time you were on a plane with me? Is this a new thing for you, Kate? Is it what? Is it a new thing? Yeah, it is. I realized because I was like, oh, people are clapping. Like, they must need some appreciation. But, so, it's, like, Kate, but it's like, why are you clapping? Because literally their job is to, like, fly us the and then land the plane. So yeah. if they didn't land the plane, then you wouldn't be able to clap. We would be dead. So right. it's like, So, you know what Dad always says <laughs> about safe delivery? Yeah. Is we, we appreciate that. So this is the thing. How long have you been flying? 18 years. Not very long, Kate. 18 years there has been flight for longer than 18 years a lot longer and I think the reason that we I like to clap and older folks like me like to clap and I think it's because <laughs> you guys don't appreciate other folks no, like me. the younger generation My old folks, in general me and the doesn't oldies. appreciate the miracle of flight like like we just take it for granted like we take for granted that we that we go in a car you know and that, flip um, a switch and a light goes on did you know that um in the house. first, the first flight um, of the brothers, the um, Wright, Wright brothers, brothers, was like less than fifty years away from when we landed on the moon. That's pretty cool. Isn't that crazy? See? So you that's crazy. crazy. That. So okay, let me ask you this: When okay, if you were thing. standing and you were watching a spaceship <clears throat> spaceship go up in the air, would, you, like, would you clap? I'd be like, let's go. So why don't you go? Let's go when we take off or when we land. Because it's obnoxious and there's a bunch of people around me and it's like not groundbreaking that we just like... You think it's not groundbreaking. It's become normalized, but it still is a miracle. It's like a feat. Right. Okay. So it's really cool that I have an iPhone. Yeah. And I was alive before iPhones were. Yeah. For a while. And... You could I, clap. They, they, the they've only been is, around for a couple years, but, but it's I still not like, oh my gosh, bit. like look at my phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's... You take it for granted. Okay. okay I mean, whatever. you can. That's your prerogative. I think All right, comment down below, you guys. Do you clap, or have you ever clapped when you've landed? Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little like thing that I thought of when we were talking about this because the older generation. I think of so 9/11. Yeah. Terrible, awful thing that happened. Did not affect me as much as it affected you because you were alive when it happened and you felt the effects of what America was during and after 9/11. I don't know that. I still feel the effects of it. Well, kind of. Not as much as you. But obviously, it was, like, devastating. Like, it's a terrible thing. But the way that you think about it versus the way that I think about it is different because you were alive to experience it. So, what I'm saying is that... Actually, I guess that kind of proves your point. <laughs> that carrying on the appreciation and, and tradition, right. I think, is so important. Right. Except, it's not like... I don't think it's traditional to clap on the floor. No, I'm... Not tradi I don't. What I'm saying is carry on appreciation. In addition, I could add a whole other element of carry on traditions. I think is also important. We could talk about that too, but we will. Oh, that oh, right. oh! You know what I'm saying? I like meant like clapping on a plane was traditional. No. I was like, oh, no, that's appreciation. All right, you guys, we're gonna go uh, shopping and see what we see. We also might. Can get I say nails. something? Yes, Brennan, jump Wait, in. Wait, can we get later though? Let, let, okay, let Brennan jump in. There's a Field of Dreams game at 7:15 tonight. <gasps> It's the Cubs versus the Reds. When you say a Field of Dreams game, is this the first Field of Dreams game, or have they done it before? They did it last year. I Who played last year? The White Sox and the Reds, maybe? So where is the location? It's in... It says it on the MLB app. It says Dyersville, USA. And it has it... it what, last year was in the same Dyersville location? Like, they built... They, yeah. It's like a place? Yeah. That is they very exciting. That Brennan and Ryan... I don't know Brennan what that and means. Mike and I just saw the movie Field of Dreams. We'll oh. tell you that off, off it's camera. But we just saw this movie called Field of Dreams. Great movie. Um, the other day. And... 
that's what you're referring to. It's a great movie. You would love it, Kate. It's, it's pretty, a really, it's really goss. Yeah, it's pretty goss. Goss, goss, goss. goss that's all. Right. Um, wait, what are you doing? I was gonna turn it I'm not done talking. Oh. No, could, you we, should be. We could film you for you hours. Yeah, except I'm not done. Good morning, you. All right, you guys, we made Ooh. out. You can't imagine. How do you well think those baby did. umbrellas will fit in my half sheet of paper rush oh, bag? Actually, probably yes. Go grab one and take, take, take a look. All right, Brennan, get those shoes under here too. Shoes. Oh, I should have socks too. Kate. This place is so great. Go, go through there. <laughs> okay, we're back out. We went home. The last you saw of us, we were checking out at the Goodwill. Goodwill. Then we went home and did we'll some work. Yes, now we're headed to Nordstrom Rack because Katie still needs another. Those glasses are cute. Mine? No, Thank I... you. Oh. oh, yeah, yours. <laughs> Katie needs another rush dress, so she did not find one. At... One or two? Two. Okay, we're gonna look for little sundresses. Here we are. Success. Oh, we only got one thing that we didn't need. <laughs> <laughs> this is the necklace. Oh yes, sorry. Yeah, because that, that normally can... happens. You but I, yeah, I've been wanting them for a long time, and I split them with mom. So, yeah. Um, so we were very focused. Yeah, we were focused. Right? We did a really good job. I mean, I wasn't as focused as you. Right. I just keep you, you know. Because I kept looking at the bags. Because <laughs> they have really cute bags. But yeah, Josh we can. For us at home to oh yeah, is he at the pool? Uh, yeah, he's gonna take everything to the pool. We're gonna grow at the pool. Yay! And swim. Yeah. I'm so excited. Uh -huh. It's our last, my, our last night together as a family before I leave. But it's gonna be so much fun because we can. Is it? Oh, no. We can hang out at the pool and we can have a lot of fun and then we can get in a hot tub, and it's and gonna it be great. It makes me very happy that you're gonna be at school with Brennan. That just makes me so happy. So you're not really leaving Brennan. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's very good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get in the car and I'll give you a haul at home. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you all my dresses that I have for Rush because me and mom just got back from Nordstrom Rack and we only got two dresses at Nordstrom Rack except I have all of them now, so I'm just gonna show you all of them. Can you so, explain really quick what Rush is? Uh, yeah, so did we Rush. Did we do that? Yeah, we did. Today? I'm pretty sure. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, here we go. This is, well, this is the first I'm one I'm showing back. you, but this is the last dress that I'm wearing for the week. Cause it's like the best, like most fancy formal day. But this is the dress. I feel like it's so cute and so It has so puffy neat. sleeves, it's so cute. Um, it has puff sleeves and the design is like a little pickup truck with a surfboard. And then there's like beach chairs and like stuff like that, which is so cute. It's like my favorite. And you're wearing that with these shoes, right? Yes. Cute, okay. There's and one. then next is this romper. Well, this is not in order. This is just what I have, but this romper cute with these shoes nice and this belt white belt perfect belt. and then we have this romper super cute and then on top of that is this belt oh sorry <laughs> this belt that has the little gold accents so mm -hmm. we're gold jewelry with that and then these cute little like gold Slippy. Made in Italy. Oh, you're Italian. I thought you got these from Target. <laughs> okay. Um, and then this dress is gorgeous. This is such a pretty but dress. But it's really long. So now, I'm why wouldn't you wear that one last? Do you think this one's more formal? Yeah. Okay. This I do. This is so cute. I'm going to wear this the day before the I day. wear that one. Okay. And that is long and it's like Isn't a... it's so pretty? It's so pretty. So yeah. nice. Nice. And then and I'm wearing that, this dress with these. Don't drop it on my poor pretty white dress. With these guys, because there's like black. I, I don't know if you can uh -huh. see. There's black on the dress, so it matches. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. And then I got these today, which I'm really excited about. I'm not wearing them to rush, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> it's part of the things that I got today, and this is like kind of a haul. Um, what else am I missing? In here, your dresses. What you got oh. in here. Are those, are those all the ones you already had? Yeah. I thought there were more. One, two, three, four. You had four. And okay, you and then I have this dress, which is so cute, and the front ties, and a little bow. So they're like 
six days of rush that you have to be all dressed up and get dressed up for. Cute, right? Yes, it's so And then cute. guess what shoes I'm wearing? Can we move this out of the way? Yes. Because I know she's like the star of the show, but we have uh -huh. other stars that need like... <laughs> I want me to send them your way. Yes! Well, look at these are. shoes, guys. One. These are totes adorbs. Look at those. Oh my gosh, it's such a cute oh, outfit. Is that so nice? And the, the pink matches so well. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess I guess we can put them in their own little pile now. That's right. And then these are crazy, guys. Except we do need to give them a little wash. Actually. I feel like if we don't give them a wash, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Mm -mm. But they got but a little bit, they were a little bit stained. They're on clearance. Because they were on clearance. But. Or maybe they're on clearance because they were stained. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But show what they go with. They're so cute. This is the cutest outfit. You guys are going to freak out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So is that cute. so cute? That little dress with these little and yellow the, the, shoes. The colors match so well. It's just so stinking cute. And this top. It's just so adorable and it's so comfy. I'm just, I'm very excited. I can't Yay. wait. Congratulations. So we just have to get earrings. Like you have some earrings that you're going to wear. We have a couple earrings, a couple pairs of earrings we'd like to Yeah, get. and I don't really like, when the only time I really think of like putting earrings as part of my outfit is when I'm doing like themed things. Like when we would go to Disney, I would do like snake earrings for like animal cake, you know, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I never really think of earrings as part of an outfit, but I guess earrings and jewelry is a big part of Rush and I didn't really like realize that. Okay, so these are all of my Rush outfits for this upcoming week. And then we have the Goodwill things, which are very exciting. Um, starting off strong is my <laughs> little vest. Oh my gosh, I love this. Which is so stinking cute. I literally like, I just love it. Like, it's adorable. Look at that. It's like old Wrangler. I wonder Let's how see the back. old. The back is adorable. It's very Seminole vibes. It's so cute. So cute. Love Look at it. That. Love it. Adorable. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is also another of my favorites because <laughs> I... So random. I have been wanting just a plain, like, hoodie zip up for so long. And I finally found one. So, yeah. <laughs> Brand new, never worn before. Goodwill was like 15 bucks. Less than that. It was like eight bucks. Six bucks. <laughs> That's really Oh! We forgot about our straws. Oh right. We're gonna put this in the washer. Can I please bring one of these to college? Yeah. Go ahead. Can I bring the cleaner too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Got straws. And then oh yay! My umbrella. Yes. So this for is Rush. for Rush because they said that they have to they give us a bag for Rush and it's a really, really tiny bag. But they were like, it's like gonna a rain a lot. Bag. Yeah, it's a drawstring bag. And they were like, it's really tiny, so like be careful what you bring. But um, because it all has to fit in this stupid bag. Sorry. It all has to so fit in this tiny. wonderful bag. <laughs> and so um I got this tiny umbrella because it does rain a ton in Tallahassee. I just wanna see if it like I just wanna see how it opens. Oh, how if you open it? it inside, it's bad luck. You no, realize it's not. that, yes? Oh, it? No, it's not. Oh, Come on. I make my own. I carve my own path. Okay? okay. Okay. Sounds good. Me and God do that together. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. This might be a cheapy umbrella, Mom. <laughs> oh. Does it work? Okay. Well, we'll no. work on that later. Not really. Oh. Well, I get. Does that is that working? Yeah. Just be careful, hopefully it won't be very windy. Yeah, if it's windy, I'm done for. Okay. But I could just hold it like this. Yeah, okay. while you're holding your fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's, I won't be holding my fan if it's raining. Yeah, so this guy might be interesting. Mm. Eh, it's okay. Um, maybe I'll just bring my poncho. Mm-hmm, that's a good idea. Yeah, well, okay. So maybe a fail, I don't know. Maybe not a good, whatever. Uh, let's just see. <laughs> Sorry, Alice. Oh, sorry, Alice. <laughs> and then I got uh, these socks, which I probably should have felt before I put them in the cart because they're really scratchy. Oh, no. Put um, them in the wash. Maybe they'll get softer. Oh, that's a good idea. I will put them in the wash because I have to wash all this stuff anyway. I won't take the time to undo those right now. Um, and then this is so good. I literally love this t-shirt <laughs> so much. It has Grogu on the front. Let's go. <laughs> love. And then this guy. Oh, I love this. this. So cute. Little sweater vest. I love the sweater Adorable. vest. Adorable. So cute. And then this guy. I have no idea where this guy came from. There's no tag on him whatsoever. But he's adorable. Ding. And he looks cute on you. Perfect. Is that it? Nope. Oh, you got more? There's more? Oh, yeah. 
this cute little, is it Abercrombie? It's American Eagle. It's a cute little American Eagle tank top. Uh huh. It's so nice, but it's not really a tank top. It's more like a, well, it's, it is a tank top, but whatever. Uh huh. Um, and then these Athleta uh -huh. shorts. Brand new, never worn. Super nice, brand new, never worn. Let's mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. So good. Originally $56, $59, and bought for $17. Nice work, Katie. Boom, pow. Now it's time to Amy pack Duncan all this say? stuff. Ba bam. Ba bam. Now it's time to pack all this stuff. Do you think we can do it? Oh. Let's do it. Hi, Alice. Sweet Alice. Sweet Ryan. Hey, nice shirt. <laughs> it's a little bit big. What's that? You look a little bit like a clown. Oh. Look, because the shirt's so big. Well, that's not nice to say. I'm sorry. Uh, what made me happy today was um, going to Buffalo Wild Wings with my friends. Did you watch any games? And, yes, and finding out that we're going to the Orioles game tomorrow. Oh, that's I'm why you're so wearing excited. your shirt. Your brother's shirt, actually. Yeah. Is he going to let you wear that? Well, I don't know. These are Katie's clothes that she's getting ready to pack to take back to school. We have some stuff in the um, washing machine. Dang, you got a lot of clothes, man. Yeah, this isn't even... She left a lot that's here, cool. too. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that's it. Alice, what made you happy today? What made you happy today, Alice? Watching the birds. Was it me? That's oh, nice. it might that's have nice been, to say, It might have been Ryan. Mom, what made you happy today? What made me happy today, thank you, was shopping with um, Brennan and Katie. That's fine, I wasn't here. I know, okay, didn't we shop went shopping, shopping while you were at school, is that okay? That's nice. That was fun, we had a good time, it was very fun. Well, I was at school. Yeah. I can no way to tell you at home. Well, because then you had golf and then you had, um, and you did okay. all that other stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's what made me happy today. Katie, what made you happy today? Shopping with Mom and Brennan. We had a good time, didn't we? And then shopping was just mom too. Yes. Yeah. It was a big day of getting ready to go. Me and mom are really good shoppers together. Yes, we do have a good time, don't we? Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Peace out. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later. Oh,